All right, guys, we got uh, Friday's workout here. We've got three different option as, options as to what people are going to be going through this looking like. Those of you guys that are not lifting on Saturday or on Sunday, um, you guys, I want you guys hitting heavy singles either tomorrow, Saturday, which there will be no noon training at in Boynton Beach. Um, but I would love for you guys to come in and hit some heavy singles. Um, or Sunday, there won't be a weightlifting class. But again, you guys are really peaked out and tapered. I'd love it for if everybody tried to hit some singles this weekend, competing or not. Um, give that a shot. So if you are competing tomorrow, Saturday, if that's you, your workout today is snatch to your opener for one rep, then you're done. Clean and jerk to your opener for one rep, then you're done. Then you're going to front squat to 75 to 75 to 85% of your one rep max, and then you're done. No grinding reps. Bar speed should stay nice. The work's been done. Now we're just getting you guys to feel good, put some final tuning on, on the CNS, um, especially with the front squat, no grinding reps. Even if you feel fucking great, that's what tomorrow is for. So the goal here is to make you feel good tomorrow. So don't, don't push anything here. If you are working out, if you are lifting on Sunday, I want you to hit that exact workout tomorrow, Saturday, 85 or um, opener, opener, then 75 to 85% of your front squat. Today, I want you guys doing any one of these EMOMs that you see here, not all three, any one that you'd like. And then I want you guys spending 10 to 15 minutes on some mobility that makes the snatch and clean and jerk feel good. And then warm up the snatch and clean and jerk as if you were to work work to a max. I know I just put out a lot of information there, so rewatch the video. I'm not gonna try to say it again because I'll fuck something up somewhere. So that's if you're lifting this weekend. If you're not lifting in the meet this weekend, three 10 minute EMOMs, rest as needed between EMOMs because they should be as intense and as hard as you fucking can go. Uh, first EMOM, four devil's presses at 50 pounds for guys, 35 pounds for ladies with a 45 second row on the opposite minute. The 45 second row is for calories. Uh, the score of this would be your max calories after all 10 minutes or after all five sets or after all five row minutes, I should say. The, the, the devil's presses has, have, has nothing to do with your score. Devil's presses, chances are we're not going to see a dual dumbbell devil's press in the open necessarily because they said you need one dumbbell. But for those of us that are planning on trying to advance to quarterfinals, which hopefully it's going to be a large group of us, we can't write this movement off. So start to find some cadence, start to find what's comfortable with you. Uh, you don't necessarily have to move the fastest, but if you can find a way that's best for you to move throughout this otherwise complicated movement and keep your heart rate down, you're going to be better off than other people. Second EMOM, 10 dumbbell squats, 50 pounds for guys, 35 pounds for ladies. Again, that's going to be dual. I do not want you guys squat cleaning your first rep. So it's going to be the same rules as uh, I think it was 18.1. You have to power clean your first rep, get it situated, and then you can start squatting. You can't squat clean your first rep. That's a dumbbell in each hand. And then dumbbell box step ups, as many reps as possible in 45 seconds on that on that even minute. Uh, dumbbell box step ups, that's just going to be one dumbbell. It can either be farmer's carry style on a shoulder or on your back. I'm a big fan of the on the shoulder and just each minute switch the shoulder that it's on and try your... Try your best to make sure that you're alternating back and forth. And I know that it can be challenging. It seems kind of cumbersome. But in the past, open workouts have told us that we had to alternate legs each step. And it was actually a problem for a lot of people. Um, so it's good practice to be under fatigue and to have the whereabouts with you to understand what it is that you're doing right to left and what you just did and what the next move needs to be. Last 10-minute EMOM, dual dumbbell walking lunge. We're going to call that front rack. Same rule as the open applies. We cannot hold the dumbbells here. We got to have fingers on the on the um, on the handles. And burpee box jump overs, 24 inches for guys, 20 inches for ladies, 45 second AMRAP on EMOM on the second and third EMOM. The video froze. I don't know if it's still going or not. It seems like it is, but I see myself frozen. On the second, on the first, second, and third EMOM, that that second, that even minute is going to be a, a combined running total and that'll be your score of that imam um good luck to everybody lifting this weekend again if you're not lifting this weekend try your best to hit some heavy singles 
over the weekend at the gym, come or come support people lifting. Um, see you guys next week.